Good morning internetters, we're going to be covering today um, creating a forward facing tree for train simulator using only three tools, uh, in particular Blender, um, the Blender Exporter um, and, there, and probably Gimp as well which is an image editor. Okay we're going to start right at the scratch, this video is literally just going to cover installing Blender. So let's search for Blender, and we don't want an electrical appliance, we actually want Blender.org and up here we can choose to download the latest version and I've got a 64-bit version of Windows so we use this option for 64-bit or here for the 32-bit and I just click and um, download it so it'll just be a few moments while I start downloads I'm lucky enough to be on quite a nice internet connection so it won't be too much longer okay so that's finished downloading um, we, if we show that in the folder, I've got all sorts of other nonsense in there, but here's my download, so let's double click it. We're going to click next, agree to the license, I've got the standard options for what sort of menus you want, so I'm just going to add a desktop shortcut, but I do want my Blender saves to open up automatically with Blender, so we'll leave that option there at the bottom. Choose the installation directory, I'm happy with the default, and click install. Alright, so I'm just going to pause the video because it's not very exciting watching an installation bar slowly fill up. So uh, we're back with you um, by the magic video editing, we'll be back with you once the installation is completed. Okay, so there we have it, installation, installation is complete and we'll leave the run blender checkbox ticked and let's get blender up and running. Oh. Let's just size that down to something um, that's going to fit on the screen, hopefully. Right, there we go. So resize that window down, and that is a Blender installed and ready to go. Um, so the next step will be to actually install the Blender exporter. Um, and I'll also be checking, hopefully checking a few of the um, settings um, to see if they are configured um, the way we want them in Blender itself. Okay, short video. Thanks for watching.